What's up everybody? Welcome to Make This, your online cooking show in which I show you how to make some stuff. Now today, we're going to be doing a dessert. And this dessert is very popular in the Philippines. It's called leche flan. Now, if you've ever had other flans before, I, when I've tried them, they are... How do you say... I don't know. I, I didn't like them. But the Filipino version, I do like. And you'll see why, because it's a very, very rich dish. So I'm going to show you what you need, uh, how to do it, and the final product. So sit back, relax, and here comes the ingredients. So the ingredients we're going to need to make leche flan are going to go into two parts. One part for the caramel, the second part is going to be for the actual flan itself. So for the caramel, we're going to need about one cup of light brown sugar, and a fourth of a cup of water. That's it. Now, for the actual flan itself, we're going to need 12 egg yolks, a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now my twist to this, I like to add a tablespoon of cinnamon. I think it adds a nice, nice warmth to the dish, but it's up to you. This is my uh, version of it. So this is all we really need to make leche flan. That's it. So I'm going to show you how to put it all together right now. The first part of making leche flan is making the actual caramel sauce that will sit at the bottom of the pan. Now, this are the pans I'm going to be using. They are a small oval aluminum pan. You can use any other type of metal pan that you can get your hands on, but that's what I'm going to be using. So once this is done, I'm going to be pouring it into those pans. So, first thing we're going to do is make the caramel sauce. So now, I'm going to have my heat on medium on the saucepan, and I'm just going to add the brown sugar and the water. And what's going to happen is this is going to melt. And it's going to take a while to do it, so give it some time. I'm going to show you what happens here in a little bit. It's been about five, ten minutes, and I just took off the heat from it, and it has this dark, rich color to it. A little darker than caramel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our pans that we have here. And then I'm just going to fill the bottom of them. It's not going to be a lot of liquid. Just enough to coat the bottom of these pans. That should be enough. Mix it around. And that's all you're going to have to do right there. When it sits flat, it's going to spread evenly. And it's going to look nice when we're done. So I'm going to show you how to put the flan together now. So here is the caramel sauce resting in our aluminum tins. We're going to let these cool down and we're going to start working on the flan part. So we have all of our eggs right here. So now what we're going to do now is add all those other ingredients into this and start mixing. So here comes the sweetened condensed milk. Next we have our evaporated milk. my little ingredient of cinnamon here. And then next we're gonna add our, oh, no, well, there it is, our vanilla extract. And now what we're just gonna do is just give this a mix. And that's it. What I'm gonna do is let this sit for about five minutes and then we're gonna pour it into the awaiting caramel dishes. All right, it's been five minutes, and now we're going to start filling up our tins. And I'm just going to start scooping these, the flan sauce, right into the tin. Oh, also, well, what you should be doing now is preheating your oven at 350 degrees and boiling a pot of water. You can use your coffee maker, or you can literally just boil a pot of water. There's not a set amount of water you need, but boil about maybe eight cups, enough to fill up a pan. Because we're gonna be, uh, well, I'm gonna be showing what you're gonna be using with that water in a little bit. So here are the tins filled up. 
And now we're going to do the baking part of making lentil flan. Now I preheated an oven to 350 degrees and I also have about 12 cups of water, um, hot water, waiting for me. Uh, you can use a coffee maker or you can actually just literally boil it on your stove. But anyways, what I have here is an extra pan. What I'm going to be doing is essentially making a water bath. And this is what we're going to do is we're going to be adding these little trays into here and we're going to be filling it up with that hot water. We're going to go up about halfway on the dish and uh, let's uh, get that going right now. That's about a little over halfway up on most of these trays. Now what we're going to do is throw this in the oven for about 30 minutes. At 30 minute mark, you want to do a, you want to check it. And the way to check it is putting a knife in the middle of it, on one of the custards, and pulling it out and see if it comes out clean. Just like checking a cake with a fork or the toothpick. Same fact or same steps, except we're going to use a knife. So 350 degrees ovens for about 30 minutes. Check on it. If it's still not done, give it another two, two to five minutes. Check it again. So I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. All right. So after baking it, I let it sit out on the countertop to let it cool down so I can handle it. And this is what it looks like. I ran a knife around the edges so I can uh, show you what the fi actual final product looks like. So plate over, turn it, and here it goes. There it is. Let's <clears throat> fly. One of the popular dishes in the Philippines. Try it. Try it out and make it. So, hold on, let me uh, move the camera around. So there it is, guys. Steps to how to make lecha flan. Now, if you guys like what I'm doing, like always, like my video, subscribe, share it, do all that social media BS. And um, like always, remember, eat.